You know another thing that satisfies? Is ready doing your air seater. What a difference a week makes. We are on a new inspection route. We got new people. I'm the same guy, but we got Walter, who's five. He's one of my sons. He's joining me this week. And we got Dexter. Dexter's joining us. Gonna be one of the guys coming to see you maybe to do inspections and help you make a plan for your most important pass of the year, your seating pass. Light goes fast here. We do not have many hours of the day. And we are here near Tolna, North Dakota. Nice machine. Equipment tour, 9300 John Deere. This is normally a 42 and a half foot 1890 and it's been modified. It's been added on to, we're thinking we'll verify, but we got two extra rows per side so that this is a 45 foot 1890. Nice machine, doesn't have a lot of wear. Right away I knew it doesn't have a lot of acres is because when you walk up to this thing, the edges on the closing wheel are still good. They're still sharp. Normally this is really rounded. And then there's not a lot of play in things. There's some things, we need some discs and depth adjusters, some arms and things. But overall, this thing's a really nice machine. It's got the wireless blockage system already on it. And it already has some stainless upgrades on the cart. And it's raining, so we're gonna hurry up and get back in the truck, right up the job, and be on our way. Well, it's not very often we get to come back full circle after doing a job. We did an inspection with Jim here, and he had us do the work. And we're gonna go check out that work on his drill inside the shed here, but we also redid his meter housings. So we're gonna check those out with you so you can see how those turned out. Grab one here. This one came apart really nice. Uh -huh. And we were able to reuse the shaft that was already in there. We did reuse your tuning rings here. Yeah, this looks very good. And that should give you a consistent drop. Um, your mm -hmm. product should flow consistently through your airstream instead of what's called an intermittent drop where it might dump some and then stop. Bring it with something and swelled up a little on them. Okay, I just must have it turned. There. Nice. Oh, it'd take a while to whittle through it too. We're looking down here to see if there's a issue with one of the agitators. Man, this fertilizer is just so tough on stuff. You know, he uses this for seed only, but We've got crazy corrosion happening everywhere just because it was initially used for fertilizer. These, those units there. Yeah, the depth slot yep. blocks. Very nice. We got the blockage system on. I know you had some skips that you were frustrated yep. with and mm -hmm. this would solve that. But yeah, you can get play in there and that was the purpose. Of well, let's see how these hold up. We're optimistic that yeah, they do a good job and I bought this drill new, and this is the 18th season I'll be running it. Wow. When it's not in use, it's always inside, you know, and that's what the killer of these drills. When they sit outside, yep. things seize up. I mean. Bearings, pivots, yep. all Everything. that. But yeah, I, I think this is a good deal when they put those. Crew is good, fast, efficient, and ready to rock and roll with it, so. Yeah. Walter gets a ride in his truck here. We're here with Lowell. And we've had a great conversation rebuilding or talking about the cedar here. And they're going to go get a ride. Let's go for an adventure. Yeah. It's turning like it's far away. got the brakes on. And did you have a good time? Yes. Did you say thank you to Lowell? Thanks for maintaining it. Yeah, no, thanks for riding along. I had a good time. Can anyone else tell that Dexter used to work for MacDon and he likes <laughs> headers? <laughs> so Dexter comes to us from MacDon. He worked at MacDon for a number of years. It was funny, I'm driving we're driving down the road and I see an air seater and a John Deere out in the distance and I say, hey there's a John Deere air seater. He goes there's a MacDon FDK01 kit 
or head or something. And so it's neat. He's got his eyes on the headers. He's been around that for a long time, and I've got my eyes on the air seeders. We'll get him converted over. He'll be helping us out with the air seeders too. Maybe give him a call if you got a question on a Macdon. He might be able to help you out. No! He said, don't call. <laughs> okay, maybe not. But if you want to, you could. <laughs> Who needs a badger or a gopher when they got you? <laughs> Dexter, how many times have you heard people ask, well, how do those notch discs perform? Well, we've been to like 12 customers in the last couple of days, and about every day, or every time, yep. every visit. Very happy with them. Look how sharp they still are. I measured them, they're at 18 and a quarter inches. Still a lot of life left in them. So, there's a, a shout out to those. Should they be something you're interested in and would like to try or put on your drill, let us know. And pulling this air seeder is the James Moose 1000 lookalike. If you didn't get that reference, make sure you check out Field Rose out of Florida, I believe. It's pretty funny. Looks a lot like a John Deere to me. Dude, no, you're crazy. This, look at this thing. This is the Cal, furthest this thing. is a brand new tractor. This is the furthest thing from a John Deere. This is kind of neat. We got 120 foot of disc drill madness here. We got 1890s, two of them. 60 foot one with Pro Series openers. This one's another 60 foot with the 90 series opener. Man, they get a lot done with these things. 430 bushel cart, 550 bushel cart. And what is that thing? Custom built liquid cart. He said it tracks really well, right behind the air seeder. It's got all kinds of flotation. And they put a liquid down in the ground when they're seeding. So we're up north here near Botno, North Dakota. And some neat machines here, a couple 60 footers. And now we're on our way to the next stop. Out here early at a New Holland drill. This is a double shoot setup. This is that $450 gauge wheel right here. Does it look like it's $450? No. For the closing wheel arms, improved closing wheel arms and pivots. Uh -huh. uh, all the main pivots. We'll do the rebuild services of the disc hubs. We have really good disc options. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. So you're the proud owner of this machine. Yeah, we're four years. I think we've got two set of two sets of discs from you guys already. Okay. We wore out. Did you try the? Did you do the round ones first? Or have you always done the notch ones from us? No, we did round first, and then we went to the notch. Yeah. I wonder if this thing will finish shop. I think this space could work. Would you rebuild the drill in here? Yeah. You know another thing that satisfies? Is ready doing your air seeder. The satisfaction in that being done efficiently, accurately, quickly, with excellent parts, about the same experience. We're here in Osnabrück, North Dakota. We're looking at an N560, 60 footer behind me here. And it's a 10 inch space machine, 550 bushel cart. He's looking at having us do the disc, the hose, the primary hose, having some leaking going on here, just from the wear, springing some holes or some leaks. And then we talked about the sensors. The sensors are pulling out of the hoses sometimes just from um, the force or the, the tension on them or the shaking. And those sensors don't clamp the best on this urethane hose or this PVC hose, whichever one they got. And so we've got a fix for that that we'll show you here on what to do to make sure that doesn't happen to this seater or your air seater. So what can happen is this sensor is held on by this hose clamp. It's it's a two half couplers essentially, or a, a plastic tube with slits in it to go into the hose or onto the hose. And unfortunately we get some tension here, we get some movement and it pulls on this. What can happen is if it pulls out of this one right here, the sensor still says that you're seating but unfortunately you're broadcasting, you're not getting it all the way to the row. And so what we wanna do is get a clamp from AirGuard and that clamp is gonna hold on um, this sensor to the hose better. You don't want it up here, you want it down here. So we're gonna put the clamp here 
so that this cannot release here, it would have to pull off up here. Now sure there's wires and stuff, but it'll just drape down and fall. And this sensor will quickly tell you that there's a problem that you're not seating in this row. So in order to check your disc diameter, you're gonna wanna go to your handy box here and open it up and pull out your ready drill inspection tool. This is gonna tell you the diameter of what is the current status of your disc. Then we're gonna drop it on the disc hub. And right here we're seeing it's right around 17 inches. 17 is there, 18 is here, that's new. And then if you've got our 18 and 5 8 that's right here and that's, that's our most popular round disc one. And our notched one is about an 18 and a half average. Now the tip is about 19 tip to tip, but the uh, average is about 18 and a half when you consider the troughs and the tips. And then just throw it back in the box. So it's there for next time. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up on all the fresh content posted weekly, which includes helpful tips and tricks, new products, and various adventures. Also, make sure you check out Ready's website to shop our performance air seeder solutions.